Hello, me bros. This is Jason of Game of Shocks, and welcome to my tenth haul video. I know. So after after making what like twenty Let's Play videos in the span of probably two weeks, let's just get a little bit away from that. Since I did my unboxing video of Sonic Forces, and this video isn't going to be as like, superb and grand as the the previous one because you can't get any more amazing than Super Mario Odyssey. You just can't. So anyway, is so now let's start. So yeah, let's see. Where do I start? Um. Oh yeah. Today. Uh. So I got some stuff today. I got from from um from the used game store that I usually go to, and also special announcement. Today is my birthday. Yay! Happy birthday to me. So I got some stuff from, from my birthday. I got. Let's see what to what to start with. Um, I would just start with the book. With the uh, book, I got my I got a game on two thousand eighteen record book. Uh, record book. I guess it's a record book. Nice and big all around. Haven't looked. Haven't deeply read it yet since you know I just got it today. But yeah, I'll give it a good read and out. And also, I got these. Uh, eShop cards. I got one. I got a twenty dollar one with Mario. I represent Super Mario Odyssey, and then Luigi. In case Luigi ever get, ever comes back for another Mario platformer, who knows? Maybe when Super Mario Odyssey two comes out, or Galaxy three, or Sunshine two, or any other like three D Mario game, aside from three D World. Yes, and then something else that I have back here is that I have a um, I got a Lego City Advent Calendar. Oh Jesus! Camera, stop shaking. I got a Lego City Advent Calendar. Maybe I'll do a video video on this, do a little video series on that. But yeah, I'm, I'm really getting off topic. And then uh, the other thing I got is I also got an MP3 player. Yeah, I'm not going to go through all the stuff since it's not really relevant to gaming. It's, and something that I don't have with me right now is a, a weekly ad for GameStop, which is for November 15th, today, my birthday, yay, and the tw through the 21st. Which uh, It's just showing off Star Wars Battlefront 2. That's it. And so now let's go on to the actual games that I got. Let's see. I got some Xbox games. I got a PlayStation 2 game. And I got a Switch game as a birthday gift. Not from not from someone. So let's see. What to start with? Um, Let's start with the PlayStation 2 game. I got Ratchet and Clank. Up your arsenal. <laughs> Funny thing. Just stop. No. So yeah, I got Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. I haven't even done a lot of going commando. I'm still stuck on Chairman Drek of the original. But yeah, from what I've heard, this is the best one of the um, the original trilogy. That's what I think, cause that's just for that's just people's opinions. Maybe they think that Tools of Destruction is best. Uh, hold on. Okay, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. So yeah. Also, that is online. That's really interesting, because this might be the only Ratchet & Clank game to have online. Obviously, it won't work now, since PS2 Online doesn't work anymore. Broadband. So, and I got to pay for $9.99 for it. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. In the back. Ratchet & Clank are going online, and they're ready to take on the universe. Ratchet & Clank are ready to go on, on a defunct online, and now they can't access it anymore. The outrageous intergalactic duo is back in a perfect 10 by PlayStation Magazine. And only PlayStation Magazine. They should have more quotes. Like, they should add IGN. And a bunch of stuff down here you don't want to read. And gives you crude humor and fantasy violence. And inside is this. Yeah, I got the game Black Label. I know there were some greatest hits once. And yeah, it doesn't matter. Because with PlayStation, it doesn't really matter to me. Because most of my games that I have on PS2 are greatest hits anyway. So here's the disc, it's like a weapons factory, and here's the manual, which, again, I like I like how Insomniac created the manuals for Ratchet & Clank. First one was on a poster, Seku, uh, Going Commando came in a sleeve, and now this one is on its side, like this. See? Insomniac should do that, should sort of continue that. With, I'm not sure if Tools of, Tools of Destruction did anything like that, or A Crack in Times, but yeah, who knows. So yeah, that's the only PS2 game that I got. The rest that I got are, oops, and there goes go, up your arsenal right on the floor. And and I got some Xbox games. First one I got is 
sneakers. So yeah, um, let's see, what did talk about sneakers? Um, it's a very cute game. I can I can tell you that. I mean, look at the cover. Look at the little mouse. It's so cute. All of them are cute. And I guess what interested me about this was because it was originally a Toys R Us exclusive. I wonder how many how many Toys R Us has actually had this game. Right? Because I don't think this game is that rare, even though it says it's a it was only sold at Toys R Us. And yeah, four ninety nine right there. But it's basically like it's basically kind of like a scavenger hunt. Basically, you look for for rats that stole your food. I mean, it's simple because it's a kids game. Gonna kind of appreciate a kids game for once in a while. It's fine in the back. Heroes come in all sizes. You know that's well. It works for a game like this. Be the hero and lead your squad to victory. Explore the worlds from your, your unique mouse eye view. Win the day with with careful searches and care, clever battle plans. Wacky cartoon style combat, roundhouse punches, flying kicks, and more. And there's also some beat 'em up elements with this game, which I didn't even see coming. But yeah, um, mild violence. Oh, that's weird. And inside, here's the disc, which is shaped with, which is almost, almost full of cheese. Obviously not real cheese. And then here's the manual. Right here. This colorful manual. This stuff you don't see anymore. And then in the back is uh, more of the living room. And then what I also saw was this. Look, this camera stops shaking. And then there's this, this Xbox in, uh, advert for upcoming games when this game was released in 2002, I think. It's a, I think it says 2002. But right here, it's a, uh, if you remember this from my, uh, my collection video, which probably not, but so the stuff right here, the Unseen, uh, it looks like a survival horror game. Torque, which I think is a platformer. Tao Fang, which is like Mortal Kombat for the Xbox. I think it's even the it's even from one of the creators of Mortal Kombat. Mech Assault, which I have. And then the next page. Blinks the Time Sweeper. Best best Xbox game of E3 2002 by IGN. That's pretty interesting. Kung Fu Chaos. Looks like um looks like Loons. Uh Kakuto Tojin. Don't know what that is. sounds like a beat 'em up. And Shenmue 2. When are we ever going to get Shenmue 3? I have no idea. Maybe it, it won't reach its quarter 3 slash quarter 4 2018 release and get delayed yet again. Who knows? Because that, that development is all over the place. And then some sports games. NFL Fever 2003. Project Gotham Racing, which I have. NBA Inside Drive 2003. And Quantum Redshift, which I, looks like F-Zero. Maybe it's just me or... Maybe other people make the comparisons. And yeah, that's the back. Yeah, interesting stuff that you don't see anymore. I don't know if the PlayStation 2 or the GameCube did stuff like that. Put little adverts like in there, in their games. That's some interesting stuff. Alright, next game is um, a game that, it, that, was in the, that was in the advert. Blink's the Time Sweeper. So yeah, um, Blink's the Time Sweeper. This was basically Microsoft's attempt at, at making a platformer for the Xbox you know, to, to appeal to kids. Because if you think about the Xbox, let's see. What what mascots of the Xbox come to mind? Um, oh, there's Master Chief. There's Marcus Phoenix. The Forza Car. And that's it. Stuff that doesn't appeal to kids, that's for sure. Yeah, we get a cat uh, with a vacuum cleaner that 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 wants to restore time, restore the the time in the world. Yeah, Seven ninety nine doesn't matter. Uh, imagine if this series was still around today. That would have been that would be an interesting idea. Like, after Blinks two, they should have did. They should, Microsoft should have just continued it with um, on the three sixty. So then spine right here, blah 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 blah, and back the first four D action game ever. Only on Xbox. And yeah, best X best Xbox game of E3 2002. Okay, time control, slow mo, and pause give you the speed advantage. Rewind to store, restore your world, and discover secret passages. 
fast forward your adventure to speed through areas and save time and record the action and replay cooperatively with your pre-recorded self. Yeah, I it's a that's an interesting concept with the time with the time mechanics cuz it could get pretty interesting cuz I've only played the first three, three levels so far and so far I think it's it might be one of my favorite games on the original Xbox. And that's saying a lot cuz I have like 40 plus Xbox games in my collection. So here's the disc, links on it. If you look up the Japanese cover for this game, it looks much better than that. I mean, look at look at Blinks. He looks like he just wants. He just he's hungry. And then there's this, which is that same stupid grin on his face. Actually, it's a bit different. But then here's another one of these Xbox adverts, which I won't go, which I won't go through since it's the same one from Sneakers. And then back here is a uh, time crystal combinations. This will this will be useful if you ever play the if you ever play the game for yourself. So yeah, that's it for Blinks of Time Sweeper. And the last original Xbox game I have is Dr. Muto. Apparently it's uh, Midway's first and I think maybe only attempt at making a 3D platformer. Haven't played it yet, but I've seen reviews of it. Like, uh, it, look, it looks good. I mean, T rating. I mean, it's Midway. What do you, what do you think? We got a mad scientist who just wants to transform from what I've seen from the, the cover and the review. Put a link to um, Nitro Rad's review down below. So, spine right here and then in the back. Why clone when you can morph? Um, I don't know, game. You can morph into, let's see, it looks like a, a rat. An ugly rat, unlike the ones from Sneakers. Uh, let's see. Maybe a hog or a gorilla. There's an alien down there and Spliz gun. Okay, that sounds disgusting. Spliz gun. Ugh. Why do I even keep saying it? Let's see, and then team right here for comic mischief, mild language, mild violence, and suggestive themes. Well, gee, that's a big step up from Sneakers, I can tell you that. We went from cute and lovable and colorful to dark disgusting and foul-mouthed yeah inside here is the disc the green disc and then there's the manual which back here is um uh, is some advertisements for freaky flyers and haven call of the king which if you again if you watch uh, nitro rad's review on this game uh he he says that well from what I've heard from the review, this game never came out on the GameCube or the Xbox. It's only on the PlayStation 2, but it's still back here. Which I find pretty interesting, because a version of a game that never released, but it's still an, on an advertisement on the back of the manual. And then Freaky Flyers, I know, came out on all consoles. And then in here it is Defender, which I might get on the Xbox or the GameCube. But yeah, I'll try. I'll try out Doctor Muto. It seems like an interesting idea for, because because Midway is dead now. Because now I think Warner Brothers now owns Mortal Kombat and everything Midway owns at that point. And yeah, so that's all my stuff that I got from the used game store. And the last thing I have is a Switch game. Uh, what did I? Well, what do you expect? I I have a bunch of Switch games. I'll do a collection video at the at the end of the year, or probably around Christmas or New Year's Eve. But regardless, the Switch game that I got is Rayman Legends Definitive Edition. Now I have played a little bit, a bit of Rayman Legends. I've never, ha I've but I've never owned the game personally. I have played it at a kiosk, a a Wii U kiosk at GameStop. You know, I just played a demo of it, and then I played, I played the PS Vita version at a friend's house, and I and I liked it, still because the PlayStation Vita just works well with with this game because it the touch it, the touch screen stuff. Same with the gamepad on the Wii U, but with this version, I'm not sure since it's on the Switch. And let's see what makes it so definitive, Ubisoft, and your new logo, but. We can find out in the back. So, red spine right there, blah, 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 and back. 
take platforming on the go with the Nintendo Switch system. New Kung Fu Tournament Mode features. Uh, no, up here. Tur new New Kung Fu Kung Fu Tournament Mode features. And there's a switch right there, which is probably that mode. And then down here, run, jump, and fight to save the day. Play local multiplayer with up to four friends and rock and roll in, ro in musical levels. Sorry if you can't see it that well. And then down here, play mode, one to four, pl uh, TV, TV mode, one to four players. Tabletop mode, one to four players. Handheld mode, one player. Wireless internet access required for online features. Includes French and Spanish. And then Nintendo Switch Pro Controller compatible. I'm surprised because, just like with Mario Odyssey, no basic reading ability is needed to fully enjoy this game. So every kid can play the game, pretty much. And then rated E10 Plus for cartoon violence and comic mischief. I think Mario Odyssey was rated the same thing. But yeah, let's see. Let me get my NIF up here. Here we go. Uh, here's my NIF. So I wonder what's in here. Because maybe with, uh, like with Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I, I need to get to that. I need to get back to that. Let's play it. But, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I need to get I need to um, get back into Mario Plus Drive Kingdom Battle. Maybe there's something in here. Oh wait. There's glue on the spine. Yeah. That's okay. I I can probably deal with it. I'm sure some other people have dealt with it, because I'm sure Nintendo was probably done with probably sick of third party developers putting Glue on the on their switch on their switch versions of the game. Like, look at this. Yeah, whatever. And then let's open it up. Oh come on, Ubisoft. Mario Plus Rabbids. You put an insert in in the game, but this there's nothing. You just have writing that no one's gonna read. But you don't even have an insert, like with Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, you had the pixel pack. But you just have the cartridge, aw, come on Ubisoft. This is supposed to be the definitive edition, but there's nothing definitive about the cover, or the back of the cover. But maybe the cartridge will be the definitive. Of course I drop it. So hey, here's the cartridge. If you can even see it. But yeah, I'm not gonna be. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing with this game. Maybe we'll do a let's quick play. Maybe we'll do an actual let's play. I don't know because I want to finish Sonic Forces maybe before, I, and then I'll finish up. Try and finish up uh, Mario Plus Rabbit Kingdom Battle. But yeah, maybe I'll, I'll finish up Sonic Forces soon because it seems to be like a, a game that doesn't take up a lot. Doesn't isn't a long game. So anyway, so that's it. So thank you all for watching this video, and please, and please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video is probably going to be a Sonic Forces video, a Mario Odyssey video, or Rayman Legends video. Maybe let's quick play. I have no idea, because I've already had a pretty crazy week as it is, and plus today's my birthday. So yeah, it's just shock the world, and us, Abibros, goodbye.